Every time I come to Vancouver, I end up at this place, Granville Island. It's one of the best places for 360 photography I've come across. Today, I've got the Kandal KuCam 8K, and I'm hunting for some epic 360 photos. So I'm gonna start by shooting in DNG RAW. However, there's a bit of an obstacle, and that is an endless amount of traffic coming in both ways. So I'm gonna have to wait for the perfect timing, run out in front of this sign, and capture the sign as close to it as I can get a clean shot of it with. And if it doesn't work out, at least you've got my death on camera. So, what I'm going to do is change it into manual mode because I'll be running out. I'm not going to have a whole lot of time to take this photo. I need to make sure my shutter speed is really fast. So I'm thinking around a one over 1000 shutter speed. I wanna keep my ISO low so I don't get any noise. Always keep your ISO as low as possible. And I'm gonna do a test shot. All right, here it is. And that's looking pretty good. My highlights aren't overexposed. Everything's relatively sharp. That's what I want. Okay, so now let's go do the real thing. Okay, so I brought this photo into Camera Raw in Photoshop, edited the DNG, brought up the shadows, brought down the highlights, increased the vibrance, and that is looking pretty darn good. Okay, next I'm going to be using DNG 8 mode with the KuCam 8K. The technique is called stacking, where you're basically taking eight high quality RAW files, combining them together and eliminating imperfections like noise, like color banding, any kind of nasty bits of the image are eliminated because you're combining the best bits of all eight photos into one ultra perfect, amazing photo. And I think I have some volunteers to help me out with this next shot. Now I'm going to switch into DNG 8 mode. I'm going to set my exposure manually again, and I'm going to make it slightly underexposed, but not too underexposed. It's always better to expose for the highlights so they don't get overblown. So that's going to be a bit too bright there, so I'll go faster. I need to go a bit faster yet again. I'm going to say 1 640th of a second. <laughs> come on, duckies, come pose for my photo. Here, duckies. Quack, 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 quack. There we go, that works. Yes, they're falling for it, yes. No, 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 just there, just there. Look, there's a 360 camera. Didn't work. Damn you ducks outsmarting me. I think I got some kind of shot. I think that's the best I'm gonna do. These ducks are way too smart for me. How embarrassing. Okay, that was pretty good. Now I want to simulate a virtual tour-like environment with super high contrast lighting. I think I found one. Yeah, there's so many different strengths of light in this area of Granville Island. I've got these bright lights ahead that are almost as bright as you can get from an overhead light. We have the next level down, which is sunlight, ambient sunlight coming through there spilling into this darker shadowy area and in here we have this awesome looking workshop that no one is in so hopefully we can shoot and we won't get kicked out but i think this will be a really good opportunity to test the dng8 again but this time i'm going to try bracketing meaning i'll take three sets of dng8 one at zero one at plus two one at minus two ev combine them together for one wait a sec uh eight nine ten sixteen twenty four shot 360 photo. I think it's going to be pretty epic. Let's give it a go.
All right, final shot of the day. I'll be testing KuCam 8K at night time. And I have an epic view of Vancouver on one side and Granville Island is on the other side. And it looks so good right now. All right, so I just had a cool idea. What I'm going to do is set my shutter speed to less than a second because firstly, I need to light up this dark area beneath me, but also I've got a major road behind me with cars driving really quickly and they're gonna get in shot. So what I can do, if I slow down my shutter speed, the lights coming from the cars will turn into almost like a light painting, like a stream of light behind me. I got myself a money shot. I'm happy to be able to sleep well tonight. So the KuCam 8K, I give it a pass for photos. Those look great. I'll post a link to all five photos on my Facebook page in the description, as well as the KuCam 8K. And that's it. Happy shooting.